Getting around Metro Detroit has been difficult for some people living along Hines Drive. Number of bridges have been closed for months and tonight the annual Wayne County Light Fest is getting underway. Four bridges were shut down in June after a 7 Action News investigation revealed they could not safely handle heavy traffic. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us live with the impact it could have on the holiday event and what's being done to get those bridges back open. Kim? Yes, if you hear some noise in the background, Wayne County's Light Fest kicks off at 6.15 and people are celebrating gathering right now. As you can see, the Sheriff's Department has a patrol car right here underneath the very first light display that goes over the road that people will drive under as Light Fest begins. Many people coming to Light Fest might wonder after hearing about those closed bridges if it will impact the event. I asked the county about that. This was the scene in June. Seven Action News revealed school buses and other heavy vehicles, despite weight limits, continued to use Heinz Drive bridges. This even though MDOT warned the deteriorating bridges needed repairs to handle heavy loads. In response to our report, the county closed four bridges. Today, as you can see, they remain closed. I'm amazed how long it's been. Of course, the construction season is ending and drivers are wondering, just how much longer will this last? So uh, to not be able to cut through here sometimes is a kind of a torture. We have some bids going to be going out and we expect to have uh, those bridges repaired and back open summer, fall 2019. Heinz Drive is a place many families head to each year for the Festival of Lights, which officially kicks off tonight. We really view it as, as the kickoff in a lot of ways to the holiday season. Jim Martinez from the Wayne County Executive's Office says the closed bridges, which are in the area between Wilcox and Newburgh, will not impact the festival, which is between Merriman and Warren Avenue. Now, those four bridges are northwest of Lightfest, and we're not anticipating any, any significant uh, related issues. As for why it's taking so long to get these bridges fixed, the Wayne County Road Commission says it is dealing with a limited amount of money and that this is a state and federal issue that needs to be addressed. You can hear those beautiful voices singing as they kick off Light Fest. We're going to go get some video of this celebration and we're going to bring you a look at the lights live later in the show. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, thank you very much. Yes.